Hello everybody, welcome to the first round of 16 match in the season 4 chalice. I think it's season 4, we're going to say season 4 even if it isn't season 4. And uh, so yeah, here we go, we've got a kind sir with super knobs. Uh, <laughs> pretty incredible. We've got uh, loads of guard, tackle, uh, obviously stand firm because they start with it, wrestle um, on the blockers. We've got a movement nine blitzer four with blodge, sidestep, lovely. And then just a dodge step one. So probably the best knobs ever seen. Uh, up against a completely boring standard undead team. Uh, multiple block there and a multiple block uh, <laughs> white, right? Because I imagine he just he just rolled randoms, right? So, like the both both teams are sixteen hundred TV, so I guess they just rolled on randoms to uh, you know to get up to sixteen hundred on the dot. So we've got some weird skills here. I don't even know what this skill is. What is this? Safe pair of hands. Oh dear, <laughs> he's got two unlucky rolls there. Um, but you know he's got a really nice ghoul here. Blodge step, sure hands, movement nine. So really nice, uh, really nice. I'm, I haven't seen many knobs. Honestly. Have you seen many knobs? Jimmy? I haven't seen many knobs. Uh, funnily enough, knobs have never finished in the top hundred of ladder. Um, <laughs> they are, hello, Steve. They are they're in the playoffs only because of the rules allowed. You know, one of each race and stuff. But they've never finished in the top hundred of ladder. And also in real life, I haven't seen many either um, because I've just never, you know, never played a lot of sports. <laughs> But um, it's funny that even the best knobs ever will probably still just lose to a you know a random undead team. But there you go. <laughs> Was this kickoff return on the ball, or did he just move him there first? He just randomly move him in the middle there. That's his first action. Okay. Okay. Not making the three D with uh, the ogre. Oh, doesn't doesn't need to. Just gets a kill. Instant. Now nah, makes the 3D with the ogre. Bosh! Oh, injured as well. Okay, well. This drive's looking good. Oh, he's got the great dice as well. Look how beautiful these dice are. Oh, so good. Oh, I forgot to check the... Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, a kind sir's equity value has plummeted. Oh, no. Oh, this this is an ugly team, ugly ugly team, ugly team. Do not like. I think the uh, under are just just uh, default, aren't they? But uh, let's get back to red and blue. <laughs> Hello, Torx. And uh, yeah, Modra. I don't think Dimmy's right all along. No, I think Dimmy's very, 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 very wrong. Why did it say Torox then? I don't know. <laughs> Remember Torox? What's a Torox? Is that Warhammer? Probably. Uh, yeah, good first turn. And, you know, having the movement 9. Movement 9, but watch that guy's good, isn't it? Even though he's only had 3. That'll probably lead to a crucial 1 in 9 failure. Uh, we've got the Blitz in uh, further at hits. Very nice. I don't really like the uh, caging directly behind the front line, right? It just encourages pressure. And I'm not saying that it's correct to come in with a pressure here. But it just, you know, like this guy could have blitzed, right? The, the mummy could have just, he could have put in two guard. No, he's only got one guard. Okay, well. If he'd had two guard. <laughs> that's really bad, actually, isn't it? There's, there's this white's a rookie and this white has got multiple block on a random. So no, only two guard is very diabolical. Oh, it's a guard vehicle, that's right. That's right. Yes. Thank you, Kalon. I knew I'd, I knew I'd, I knew Torox was a games workshop thing, but yeah, it's the it's the rubbish. It's the rubbish guard vehicle. Thanks, Kalon, you fucking nerd. <laughs> you big giant nerd. Oh, it starts with a dodge. And fails? Well, it didn't. It's not what I would have done. 
There was no blitz, was there? There was no blitz. I don't, I don't know what the blitz is, by the way. Like, maybe blitzing the, uh... Maybe blitzing the mummy? With your ogre? Did he re-roll that? Or did he, just, he just ate it and got KO'd. And then had to apple it. Oh, he's break tackle, so it was a 2+. plus. He didn't re-roll it. Did he re-roll it? He didn't re-roll it. It was break tackle, so it was a 2 plus dodge. Hmm. <laughs> Got me. <laughs> so yeah, this is a terrible turn for uh, a kind sir. Oh my god. Oh my god. So he spunks his apple away and then gets his ogre cast. And uh this guy's down who failed the dodge. The other two guys are down who ended the turn in base contact. Uh, what an absolute... I mean, he's still one man up, but in terms of quality, it's a massive win for the undead right now. And all of a sudden, you know, the knobs are just showing how terrible they are, aren't they? They've got really nothing they can do here. One guy's power's pretty good though, I guess the stand firm dude as well. And the AV break. Oh my god, and the removal. What a look at dog. What a look at dog. Absolute equity shift there. Oh, Le Double Skulls. Wow. Terrible Thomas getting absolutely banged on by that one here. Uh, from so from it going so well for like a moment to just going absolutely terrible. Oh, he's got the ball based though, maybe. No, he doesn't base the ball. Doesn't base the ball. I would have based the ball there, honestly. I, I genuinely would have based the ball because um, this guy, you know, you could bracket this guy and you could base this guy and stuff. And then it's really quite difficult for him to get a 2D on the ball. Uh, and you know, one in nines fail all the time. Two assist count. Removal. Pretty nice. Turn five? Or is it turn six? I don't know because it was it was a kind sir is the horror this vile green vile shades of green <laughs> team. <laughs> What colour is this? Is this teal? Teal and like goblin green? That's horrible. Um, it's got him as five, right? But he must be on six because he went foot. Why are they both on five? So this must be whatever's wrong with the uh, turn counters is affecting the replays here because he can't be on turn five. Don't know which turn it is. Oh, like he can be on turn five, but that, if that's the case, then Terrible Thomas has only had four, right? So they're not both on turn five because the kind so on first, but glorious dice though from the kind so. Oh. A toad, yeah, it's an ugly toad though, isn't it? It's an ugly toad. Toads shouldn't be playing Blood Bowl. That's an ugly scheme, in my opinion. It's what what's good about it is I'll give him this. It's good camouflage, right? It's good camouflage. If your opponent doesn't have custom colours on, they might not see your uh, your green players disappear into the field. So it's got that going for it. At least he's tried. Unlike default terrible Thomas here, he's got a default undead team with a default colour scheme. Still not basing the ball. Resisting all temptation to base the ball. Right, so it's turn six, so... Yeah, it, it obviously... 
last turn was turn five, and it just this means terrible Thomas is next turn is turn six, and that's just completely wrong. Shouldn't be surprised. Oh, we've got a fancy ball as well. This is the Chaos Ball. I nearly bought the Chaos Ball. Yeah, it's pretty good, isn't it? No wanna. I think he rerolled there. On like a nothing 1D, because it's late in the half. But... You know, rerolling that dodge might have been better earlier. And because he followed up, he just gets smashed. Oh. Terrible Thomas giving up on stopping the score here. Mummy blitz and reroll for damage. But not into a foul. Glorious. No, I won't give in. Uh, his dice is not as I'm nice. victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. <laughs> Jimmy, take a brick and hit yourself on the head five to ten times and you'll see things more like how BB3 Discord sees <laughs> things. <laughs> Thank you very much, Boom Savage. <laughs> what a great line. It's actually a great line. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks for staying fantastic and thanks for that line. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. Sure, Hargrim, sure. Um but you'll have to wait for a picture. Cause I can't I can't pause it to add a picture. <laughs> oh shit, you're coming out of my 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 thing right okay wait a second we'll have to uh we'll have to pause in the end <laughs> all right bear with me and then people will be able to hear you okay hello hello oh beautiful beautiful hello how are you i'm all right a bit tired done two days of partying so you know oh wow Two days of partying. Were you were you partying at the uh, Bang Average Chicken Bowl? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck no, that's not a party. <laughs> Good. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how, what happens in Hargrim's life. <laughs> that might have been the highlight of your year for all I know. <laughs> Tragically, it might be for some people. Man. <laughs> The highlight of my weekend was meeting Andy Davo. It was beautiful. <laughs> and he only charged me 20 quid to take a photo with him. <laughs> 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 the best deal of my life. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear me. Right. <laughs> See the shower. <laughs> Oh dear, well there you go. There. Luckily the half was over, so I guess it didn't really matter that we ignored the last few chats. <laughs> <coughs> um, oh, I guess the turns are totally fucked on this now. You know the the you know the bug of like not sh of showing the turns wrong has yeah. seeped into the it's seeped into the replays as well. So oh, that's really, fantastic, isn't it? Yeah, so it's really hard to tell whose turn it is at any any given time. Oh no, it's a timeout. So there's the the oh. young girl have got a two turn chance. A pina colada, yes, Steve, yes, pina colada for a victory at Jim Con, hundred percent. Um, yeah. So the first of all, we've had the big fail, right? The the mummy has stayed out um, before half time. Now, of course, it might come in for the second half. But that's cr critical that, uh, that that comes back, doesn't it? Shit, the ogre's dead. Yep, yep. He, he literally, I'll tell you what happened. A kind sir made a dodge, rolled a one, didn't re-roll it, got KO'd, appled the KO, and then the, the ogre got hit and got cast. 
like very next action. <laughs> Just instant punishment. And it might even be badly hurt. I think it was badly hurt as well, can't tell. I think it was badly hurt, so like it would have just worked, um, but didn't. I don't know who, who this skeleton's protecting against. Surely this skeleton should have like gone here, because you've got a you know you've got a dodge to base the guy at least from. The, I guess then you could chain him forward though if you base him from the back. It's stand firm. You're not chaining anything. No, 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 no. Like what I'm saying is. He's left on this dodge so that he can base the ball. Oh, yeah. But then, on the other hand, if you do base the ball, then he can just chain you forward, right? maybe, right? So. No, but... you can't chain anything forward. It's stand firm. Oh, yeah, he's stand firm. Oh, my God. I was thinking you can't chain the him forward. And I'm like, no, it's tight step. All right. So this Skellington should have definitely been like here or here, right? Yeah. So there was, that was, it was just like, who is he guarding against here? <laughs> I don't understand. He's guarding against the four 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 one D. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy should have a hundred percent been like over here. Very weird. Yes, of course, of course. I mean, Dave does too. It's just a funny joke, isn't it? It's just a funny it is joke. Just a joke. It, it's just a funny joke at Dave O's expense, which. I'm beginning to see that, uh, you know, maybe I shouldn't have made those when I wasn't really on too good terms with him. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, now we're best buddies, so it's all right. Four. Wow, what a best shit out. defense. What the fuck is going on here? A kind sir, just obviously, like, new to Blood Bowl. What the fuck is that? Like, what the fuck is that? Like, you've got all these players free and you just don't... I guess because he's scared about it going diagonally, right? You're not covering anything. <laughs> yeah, I mean, true. <laughs> but I guess he's thinking because he can, like, go laterally, like, all the way to here. He's thinking that he's... But, yeah, obviously he's not really covering anything. <laughs> I mm. guess he's gam I guess he's gambling on the sidestep and not getting knocked down with Wrestle. So I guess he's gambling on the 55 not working. Yeah. But, I mean, the base, the base with tackle is a bit of a problem. He has to. I think he has to blitz the ball clear. No, that's no. He has to blitz the side stepper. Yeah, with yeah. The rest of the or, or just blitz this line. Man. Is that a lot? Oh yeah, that's a line. No, the problem is it's got fend, so you can't follow and make it a three plus dodge. Through. All right, if you did it with a ball carrier, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was just thinking. That means you're, that means your three. That means your three plus dodging from tackle. Not very good. Yeah, I think I think you have to go through the uh, the side stepper. And then you've got a pow. No, the the both down is fine. Oh yeah, because you do it with wrestle. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So you're seventy five percent there. Whereas if you blitz him, then you've got a dodge and GFI. Yeah, because you could yeah. do it with the ball carrier. Hmm. Let's yeah. see what he does. I would. Dimmy, score I need... to... Dimmy, I'm going to teach you the best thing you can do for tabletop is you just declare a touchdown action with something when you're trying to score. It's guaranteed to work every single time. Yep. So he decides to go for the ball base. Doesn't get him with three dice. <laughs> oh, yeah. dear. Does the oh, dodge... dear. Rush. Oh! <laughs> <coughs> oh, my God. No! No! Oh, my God. So it was, what, one... Two, three, four. So it was just a four plus three plus, wasn't it, with dodge? Yep, four three with dodge. So pretty good, pretty good actually. But you would have blitzed this one, right? You would have blitzed this one with rest. No, I would. I would have blitzed the other side stepper. This one. Yeah. Hmm. Because it's easier to create a hole through. I mean, if you don't hit the fifty-five, you're a bit fucked, anyways. Then you take the three four three the way that a kind sir did it anyways because that's then your contingency but if you do get the 55 you've now just got a 3 2 2 3 2 2 2 yeah mm. i needed to double to count the squares mm, interesting interesting i don't know i feel like i would have uh <laughs> i feel like i would have i would have blitzed this guy um the problem is that it's got fend right so if you yeah, don't no. get the if you don't get the POW, you have to 
three plus anyways, and if you yeah, don't but you have to power, three plus you... anyway, even if you power this guy. Well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Sorry, what I meant to say was, if you don't pow, then you're suddenly making a four four three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not powering this guy is bad. Yeah. Yeah. And then, but pushing this guy is bad, and pushing this guy is probably like hurts you as well, doesn't it? Like right? pushing this guy is pretty terrible. I don't know. I don't know what the correct answer is. I don't know, Jeff. I know what the right answer isn't. The right answer isn't to isn't to hit this guy and fail. <laughs> 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 and then double one the GFI. <laughs> <laughs> obviously, the correct, obviously the correct decision is just to declare a touchdown action here. Yeah. Oh, I think he didn't have rerolls. Wait, did he have? I don't know. He failed something anyway. But um, he got through. Yeah, he should have just declare the touchdown. Yeah. yeah. Right. So I mean, he gets away with that. But you know, it's it's fair, right? Because uh, it shouldn't have been a riot anyway. I hate riots. I absolutely hate riots. So I'm glad that there was. You know no what's touchdown. worse? A vicious ref. Nah, I think I think Riot's worse. Like, Officious Rest is, is annoying, obviously, when you just lose a player, but you could have just lost that player to, like, a random block or whatever. But, like, I hate it when, like, you play perfectly and you've done exactly the right thing and they've got one turn and they can't score and now all of a sudden they've got two turns and they bloody score an awkward long bomb, you know. Or Mr. Throws, throws a long bomb and scores against you, putting you out of the play-ins. It's fucking annoying as fuck, isn't it? But yes, losing a player, it. losing a player just for no fault. Just a fault. straight, a straight one in six to lose a player that you can't do anything about. At least yeah. the old throw a rock allowed you to apo it. Yeah, but then also at least nobody dies, right? How stupid was it? Somebody dying from it, like throw oh, a rock no, was, was worse. Well. Yeah, throw a rock was worse than this. <laughs> you should be able to argue the call on it. It's stupid that you can't argue the call on on a vicious ref. Like that's that's just stupid, nonsensical that you can't argue the call. On a or bribe ref. it. Yeah, or bribe it. Yeah, if you could bribe it or a vicious ref it, it would be way better. Just idiotic that you can't. Terrible, terrible decisions from GW. Well, You'd almost think that they actually played their game. <laughs> well, that's uh, an interesting start, there, isn't it? Instant two removals, uh, the same way the kind sir did in his drive. So this this yep. also looks like this drive is almost over as soon as it started, especially without an ogre. But uh, maybe, I guess now a kind sir should just try and like defensive dacker, right? Defensive dacker and just get out. Oh, I guess you can hit this guy with mighty blow tackle, but just don't get hit by mummies. And uh... I also don't like how the mummies are so separated from each other. Like the way you're supposed to play undead is you need to play your drive around the mummies, and right now they're just split. They're not really doing much of anything other than covering a flank. And... Mm. Kind of split. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Super interesting, yeah. Super interesting. Alright, Kalon. You twat. You absolute <laughs> twat. No, it was it was we had trouble working out the absolute optimal way of scoring against it. Like at the end of the day, it wasn't hard to just roll some threes and fours and twos or whatever, right? Like whichever way you do it. It's some threes and twos and maybe some yeah. fours, but like it's, I'm sure it could have been harder than that. But it, I guess he was, it was difficult. The fact that he had it the ball in a movement nine player did make it rather difficult to defend. But it, it, mostly, it was terrible by uh, terrible Thomas. Funnily enough, to to put his Skellington in completely the wrong square and uh, allowed the base in the first place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little bit better, Kale, on the third, <laughs> but um, you know, I want to be insulted. You should offer us a pina colada for a photograph at Jim Con, and then, <laughs> and then, then you're completely exonerated. <laughs> when is the next Jim Con? I don't know, to be honest. I'm not sure. I'm going to uh, UKTC. When's UKTC? Uh, 24th, 25th of August. Yeah, just a month away. Mm. I'm not sure I'm ready for that. Maybe next year. Maybe GymCon 2025. Gym GymCon. We'll see. Yeah, I'm only a month away very, very soon. I'm not sure. Oh, gets him down. Yeah, I think, I think 
A kind sir should have maybe just tried to survive this drive rather than fight. Yeah, you chipped Jim, bloody. <laughs> what fucking skill is on that wrestle ghoul? Safe pair of hands. <laughs> oh, okay, that must be a random. Yeah, yeah, that must be a random. He's also got multiple block on his white. He obviously just like picked all the randoms to like you know make it sixteen hundred. Uh, ah, yeah. Uh, he's got this. What? What's that one? Is that juggernaut or break tackle? Or... Uh, Kelan, give me some dates on uh, Facebook or something, and I'll look into it. He might have taken ground, but probably a random. Yeah, I'm just not sure he's like gaining anything from leaving these guys hit my mummies, right? I think he should have probably noped out of the driver, but he's not hitting yeah, the absolutely. mummies. <laughs> oh, because he's got he's going for this mighty he's going for this dodger. With mighty go tackle. I'm not sure that's correct. You know, maybe three dicing with mighty blow is just better, but I guess if he you know he thinks if he hits this guy he can foul him as well, can't he? Which is pretty nice. The blood stepper. Don't hate it. Yeah, it's not it's not terrible to hit a blood stepper. No. Gives you a lot of space. Yeah. Beer garden at Hamburg next August. Maybe kill him. I won't play though. No, you'd probably end up flipping your shit at someone. Yeah, I would not play. I'm never going to play tabletop with all that for a game. It's not for everyone either. Like, it's it's a matter of taste, right? I just fucking hate all Games Workshop things. Uh, table, like you know, in real life, it's just yeah. it's just because the people who play are the worst. They're just all fucking cheaters. Like, obviously, not every single person, but every single event I've been to, people have cheated. So, oh my God! Did I? I'm not. Sh you probably haven't heard the story about me playing Bad Storm. No. So I went to the Talian Team Cup with Volcaho, uh, and Shiagand and JV, and we ended up playing the Alfea guys in like round five, and I got matched against Bad Storm on like the bottom table of our squad. Yeah. He scores on his A. I get a timeout. I fail my two turn up because he makes some some dice to get the ball up off me. Then mm. I have to score on seven. Then he gets a timeout. Then he snakes a dodge to secure his position, and then screams "Porco Dio" <laughs> for a solid minute at an increasing volume. <laughs> <laughs> he was just—he just like stood up screaming "Porco Dio, Porco Dio," <laughs> <laughs> making Italian gestures everywhere. It was fucking hilarious. <laughs> wow, this is a ballsy hit on the side stepper there, but gets the pow. Look a dog. Easiest. Easiest power of your life, mate. Mm, full power. And uh, also got a huge, huge KO. Wait, did he have an extra? I don't understand how he is he still on the pitch. Uh, no, he killed the other one. Okay, he killed the other one. So KO on a stun, so massive turn for Terrible Thomas there. Got himself in a bit of trouble against like hardly any players. Pretty crazy, yeah. right? Using a reroll. Like, there's no way you should be using a reroll in this drive as Terrible Thomas. No, you're def you're playing for OT. Yeah. You're one nil down. The best that can happen is you make it one one and go overtime. So, and you're playing against five players. So just play safe and conserve your rewards for OT. Not, of course, for Kekwadi. Some people, some people think you know saving rerolls for OT was just a Kekwadi thing, but obviously it's just good to have rerolls, isn't it? <laughs> well, having rerolls is a good thing. Yeah. He's very lazy in terms of saving his first here. It's still terrible, Thomas has not learned his lesson yet. Just has this mummy out there. Maybe he's going to GFI with this mummy. But this mummy, I would have gone straight in there. It seems crazy to have not moved him yet. I think I'm using the mummy to blitz this blood uh, stepper. Uh, with three dice. Well, not what I would have done, but we can save if it's good or bad. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, it gets it back into the game, right? Yeah, he it could have gone in the game just by standing again. next to it as well. I just stood next to it and bit with somebody else. But it's okay. Oh, he's been sent off oh. for his foul. I 
I played an Italian guy and he kept going, Oh, Madonna! (laughs) (laughs) Man, the Italians are certainly something over the board. Mm. Which I think that means, oh, wow, Jimmy, you're so much better at blood ball than I am and I'm just losing because you're better than me. um, (laughs) I think that's what it meant, but I could be wrong. (laughs) That was certainly what was happening, of course. (laughs) (laughs) Turn 15, yeah, got to make this block. And then uh, Russell Zim uses the pro, gets the wrestle. Got to make this block as well. But now he gets to move to the middle. And a big old, big old uh, cage. Oh, I thought he was going to be in a cage. It looks like he's electing not to be in a cage, which means the the you know the nobles could roll some dice and maybe catch him here, couldn't they? There is a four, four, three, one dice on the ball. I mean, it's easier than that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, GFI, GFI. Yeah. Steve, when I when I was introduced to like international level Blood Bowl, um I remember being told to watch out for the Italians because they were known to cheat. Wow. But but there aren't really any known cheaters, to my knowledge, no. The thing is, with the cheating, a lot of it is like subtle, like, a lot of it is subtle, and it's like... <sighs> I don't know, it just does my head in, I don't want to talk about it. Suffice to say, I'm never going to play tabletop blood ball, ever. Again. There are cheaters, there are cunts, and there are people who are both. Hmm. Usually, cheating means there's an overlap into cuntage, but, you know. <laughs> Oh yeah, Odon. Uh, there was a guy at the uh, Valkajos tournament uh, who was caught cheating. Hmm. Yeah, he's about the only one that I think is known for being a cheat and being um, being exposed it's gotta as be, a cheater. It's got to be compulsive at that stage when you're doing it in front of people, <laughs> like blatantly. It's got to be compulsive, right? Hmm. Maybe you thought he was a member of the Magic Circle and wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> we sure there wasn't collusion involved. Yeah, maybe. Yes, Mordred, that is an absolutely stand, standard fucking tactic of, you know, 190 rated players. Absolutely standard. Time management is a skill in Blood Bowl, and a lot of the like big international tournaments will have this like specific rules set in place for in, in case you run out of time bank. I was told I was playing the finals at the Berlin Rumble, and was told by people to keep an eye on the guy because he would do things to like get a competitive advantage, not cheat, mind, but he would like mess with the clock or something like that, play super slow so that we ran out of time and get a result from that one manner. So I just told him I want to play with a chess clock. Yes. I good. think he said he wanted to play with a chess clock. I don't remember exactly. Yeah, I mean, I, the the chess clocks is a good development, right? That 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 wasn't yeah. around in my day, and I've heard they're in Warhammer and 40k as well. Oh wow, a blitz! Hardly any players, by the way, for kind of and loses the toss, so he's you know he's really up against it right now. But um, yeah. So in my day, there was no chess clocks. Obviously, now that certainly helped. The but. Literally yeah. everybody did that slow playing bollocks. Uh, they did it in Magic. I don't know if Magic has got chess clocks now. But Magic has the option for chess clocks. Good, good. Yeah, I mean, you're given you're given fifty minutes. You're given fifty minutes for a match, and chess clocks can be asked for. Yeah, I, would, I mean, I would ask for chess clocks every single mm. every single game of everything I ever played. Um, yeah, because chess clocks are good. It's just one of those things. It's just one of those things that people do, like constantly, and and it's okay. It might not, people might not call it cheating, but I do. And yeah. there's also things like you know, like the turn counter and stuff. You know, people who never move the turn counter, and it's just one more thing that they've got to like you know fuck with the board state and and psychologically and everything. I just hate it all. I just hate. I hate all of like the absolute twats who play, you know, tabletop, and there's a lot of them. 
It's it's the ones that game the system that are really fucking annoying to deal with. Hmm. This isn't three dice, is it? Oh, it's to stop the side step forward that would put him into range. Yeah. Get to the pow. Wow. And yeah, and I guess to stop him going up here. But going up there would be pretty good as well for him because he could just dodge out and then make a little thing. But yeah, I guess the pow. Doesn't pick it up? What? Oh god, I hate that. I absolutely hate. Like I get that there's a tackle guy right next to it. But I mean, I you're not dodging. Yeah, I'd have definitely just gone and picked it up. Yeah. Not a very good scatter. Mm. I mean, they've got a chance with his blitz, but I mean, I don't. I wouldn't back them. I wouldn't back them still. But they, look, the movement nine guy is free. Running around, he's not picking it up either. <laughs> I mean, this time it's a five plus, whereas the other guy had sure hands on fours. Yeah, exactly, Kalon. Like most of the time, there really isn't a problem because most lads are nice. But there's just there are always the cuts somewhere. Mm. Also, like a lot of it's really subtle as well, right? So if you're the kind of person who's just a jolly person who goes there to have a good time, maybe it's not going to grind you gears quite as much as it grinds my gears, right? I imagine if the people who play Blood Bowl, I'm in the top 1% of competitive players anyway, right? But then I'm also not one of that 1% who will use every tiny little thing I can to win. So when I play those people that do that, it really grinds my gears. Yeah, it's real fucking annoying. Mm. I've had... Pr I've had problems once. In like... Eight years of tabletop. And that was only because people told me that there might be a problem. So I just <laughs> went ahead and said, Okay, we'll just eliminate the possibility for a problem. Mm. Chess clock. Yep. I can't believe he still hasn't picked it up. Like, there's no, there's not even tackle now. I mean, just pick it up. <laughs> pick it up. I guess you could, you could fail the pick up. You could bounce to him. And you could just catch it. So, I guess this is such a dangerous player. It makes sense to kind of not, you know, not have the bad luck, not have the low roll. But I, yeah, it's just play super slow. conservatively. But, but it's, it's also it's so easy for the scatter, isn't it? It's also so easy for him to scatter the ball, which he didn't. But like, he could have scattered the ball. Then anything could have happened. So. I think I think the kind sir should have definitely scattered that. Even if it's in a one day, I don't know what it had to be. We yeah. can go back because I'm rather than me just complaining about tabletop. Uh, maybe it wasn't too easy to scatter, eh? Yeah, it was. This guy could have one deed, right? Could have blocked him. Yeah, he has two players still to move, so he could have yeah. easily he could have easily freed up these two players. And then come in, hit this guy, scat and scat. I think you have to scatter it because this guy can just score, right? And then at least you. And I know that if he scores, you've got a good chance of it just going to kicks anyway. But um, also, if you don't score, you're just going to lose probably because he can. He, you know, if 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 he's. Whoo, let's try and speak English. King Jim. The undead has like the inevitability, if you like. And eventually, this movement nine ghoul is going to pick it up and get away, and you know you're massively outnumbered, and you're just going to lose one nil, hundred percent. If this ghoul ever picks it up, you've lost. So while scoring doesn't guarantee you the win, at least it guarantees you not losing in normal, well, in not in normal time, in overtime. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. Words are hard, Jim. We get it. They are, man. They are. People don't realise how hard it is to speak English. Especially when it's your second language. I mean, people forget that I'm northern. <laughs> <laughs> that must make me trilingual then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> didn't like it, Kaelon. You tried stop speaking once and didn't like it. <laughs> Kaelon paused for breath back in 2023 and you didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> and there you go, now the ghoul has picked it up and he's away. Uh, GG. Yeah. You know why. That's the problem, isn't it? He's no players, so... I think... 
It's interesting because obviously you don't know what the people are thinking and stuff and you don't know what their plans are and you don't know what their analysis of the uh, board state and equity is and everything. But I feel like he had to know it was pretty absolutely awful and he had to get the ball to that movement nine guy. So I think he had to have, you know, the player should have definitely tried to, you know, be scattering the ball and getting it under that, you know, getting out for that movement nine guy. Maybe something happens. It, it can be quite difficult to look through a replay. Like there's obviously optimal lines, but obviously everyone has an optimal line depending on what strategy they're trying to employ. Yes, exactly, yeah. And while good players are more likely to have the better strategy than bad players, if, if you know, like, cause, you know, like, uh, you know, Artemis often calls p the players terrible and stuff, and it's like, I'm, you know, it's not so easy to say things are terrible, right? Because, because while you may think they are terrible, like, obviously some things are just obviously terrible, right? Like, that skeleton who was doing nothing and stuff. Um, yeah. So some things are terrible, like not moving, not moving a mummy, you know, and then... Uh, and then it, it ends up you know, being stranded and whatever. So some things are obviously terrible, but like certain lines of play, you know, it's hard to call terrible because you just don't know what they're thinking of and what they're leading up to. So it might have been the first part of a, something really good, right? Like against me, um, uh, Shanba in the in the NAF tournament, he did like a seemingly random skink dodge, which actually was really good because if it had worked, he could have he could have made two blocks. Freed up a Saurus, double GFI'd hit my ball. But the dodge just looks like a random misclicked or stupid dodge, right? So you can't just call that shit, even though it sure looked shit <laughs> at the time. It was actually it was actually the right play. So um I don't know, maybe it wasn't the right play, but it was certainly a valid play. So it's it's hard to just call things rubbish, um, with any authority, because no one's an authority. Oh, we don't. We don't have. We don't have Blood Bowl stockfish. So nobody's an authority on Blood Bowl, um, as much as obviously, I'd uh, I'd rather listen to what somebody good thinks than what somebody bad thinks. <laughs> yeah. Coming in for this. Oh, we're not six plus dodging. Okay. Oof. I mean, Chunder isn't that unique. He's, he's similar to Inarian, right? Like, <laughs> Artemis calls Inarian the evolved, the evolved Pokemon version of Chunder, which I think I don't <laughs> think. I mean, that's a little bit harsh to Chunder. I, I think that you know, I don't think they're that far apart um, in how good they, they are, have but... a somewhat they have a somewhat similar stylistic approach to the game. Yeah, but they're still very different players. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly all done. Timmy's the best. He's he's even better than uh, he's even better than Mr. Pitch. <laughs> Absolutely. Timmy's the best. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Twitter is off brand in <laughs> Inarian from Wish. <laughs> We've got Inarian at home. <laughs> No, I think I think they're yeah they're, they're somewhat similar. I think they're somewhat similar in in yeah in their approach yeah stylistically whatever you want to say. Um, but but again and that that's kind of necessitated by like what they play as well right like you know they're both playing like you know fragile teams at high TV aren't they and and yeah so they were forced into that kind of mentality because if they don't try and score multiple touchdowns before their team dies their team dies and they just lose. <laughs> So. It's like it's very similar to how I used to play Skaven before the uh, Alicante incident. Mm. Like just in your face, pressure every turn, turn you over like three times. Yeah. Yeah. Which is good, right? Which is good when you're racing against the clock of Clawpon um, in Blood Bowl 2. You know, like the, what what else do you have? Like, you know, as fragile teams, that's pretty much the way to do it, you know? So... It can be a nightmare. Yeah. You've basically got to play every turn, you know, pretty well, right? You, if you make a mistake, like, okay, it looks stupid, basing up your whole team and giving away 65 blocks in a game. <laughs> but, you know, if you play a bad turn in amongst those blocking everything that bases you, then um, then all of a sudden he's got two, one or two dice on the ball and 
he's got Skaven, so he's probably away. And it's, uh... But, you know, if you do all he the brought... right things every turn, you should be all right. Zebra started playing very similarly to, to Chunta in that he likes to find aggressive lines very quickly and, like, put on all the pressure very quickly, mm -hmm. which I've told him he needs to stop doing with Dark Elves because it's not always that you're going to be able to do it in specific matchups. Mm -hmm. And you'll you'll lose players consistently. But it's so fucking annoying to deal with. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Well, that's the thing, isn't it? Who knows if there's rules. Um... It's interesting, isn't it? And again, we, we, we'll, we'll never know until somebody makes, you know, the Blood Bowl, the Blood Bowl Super AI, which, you know, will probably never happen, will it? But who knows? Who knows how good things will get, you know, like computing power and whatever, you know? At the moment, we've got, every, every one of us has got in our pocket a computer more powerful than the ones that got us to the moon, right? So, who knows what's going to happen in the future? So maybe, maybe like, you know, there will be an AI that comes out that totally solves Blood Bowl. Um, but it's until that like, day, we just haven't got a clue what the best moves are or what the rules should be or anything. Do we really? Yeah. We just have what what dumb humans have done a little bit. Like, none of us have barely played, right? At the end of the day, not... Like, you know, when you compare it to chess, where like, it's got thousands of years of people dedicating their lives and then writing books and then reading all the other books that everyone else has written about it. And, you know, all of that accumulated knowledge. And, you know, and then, and then what have we got? We just play you know hundreds of i mean now with the internet we can play hundreds of games to be fair with like you know blood ball one two and three and fumble uh, you know and tabletop simulator maybe like tabletoppers have got no chance because they've only games are in the hundreds right but at least now i guess people can play thousands of games but still they're still not actively trying to improve in all those games and stuff and certainly not like i doubt very very much that people are like setting up boards to try things out and stuff it's just people are just playing for fun so People just, you know, who... You Most know. people play for fun. There are the people that, like, will set up specific board states and, like, work on, like, how to approach the turns and that sort very, of thing. Very, very few. Very few. Yeah. Vanishingly but it's like, few. <laughs> it's, like, the whole thing about studying chess, you can't really study Blood Bowl in the same manner because it's a random game, because of fucking dice sometimes. <laughs> yes. Yes. I mean, you could study it a lot, though, right? You could study it a lot more than what there is, which is nothing. <laughs> 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 um, but anyway on that bombshell congratulations to terrible thomas and uh, commiserations to a kind sir unfortunately the best knobs ever were not good enough to get past mediocre undead and uh, thank you hargrim 007 himself glorious having you in the booth pleasure to be here as always jim and thanks for watching everyone don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic <laughs>